Hey guys, we are live. It's Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis. I hope you can hear and see me. It looks like you can. I'm a, little, I'm a little out of breath. I just ran upstairs to get this box that just came in the mail today. From Velcro, which is one of my sponsors. So I thought I would just go ahead and do box opening because I think I know what's in here. We might, yes, be able to do a giveaway. And this is a big box, look at this. All right, so I was told that they've got some like terrain type items. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll start this right off the bar, right off the bat. Let's see here. Gives me a chance to catch up my breath. Hey, Jester of Death. Hey, Steve Ammon, Texas, Amberton, 30 Studio. Brooke Dino. How are you? Well, you will never know. Happy Friday, everybody. Yay, sneaky, tiny, small, subscribing. Whoop, whoop, chicken. Whoop, whoop, chicken. <laughs> Five months in a row. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Let's write that down here. Sneaky. 
tiny, small. Um, also, I don't know how long my mods plan on being here today, but I'm gonna set an alarm for an hour whoop, so that I can do my stretch break in an hour here. Reset it. Do, do, do. Okay, here we go. Timer, one hour. Perfect. All right, it will twinkle in an hour. Ah, thank you, I just got it done today. <laughs> I did, I actually did get it done today. She did a good job. Just trimmed it a little bit, got a little bit off the bangs. Okay, trypophobia, tripo, trypophobia is fear of holes. So if you don't like holes, you're not gonna like this maggot demon that I'm gonna be painting, he's very nurgly. He's super gross. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes. So you can Google triple phobia and you know, see if it's something that you are, ooh, a little note. Hope you will enjoy painting these models. Thanks for your support. Awesome. Hello, Eenie Meenies. How are you? All right, I'm almost done opening this box. All right, there's a lot of stuff in here. Holy cow, guys. There's a lot of bits. Nope, these are minis. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. There are like, holy. You guys wanna look at all these? There's a lot of different minis in here. I think they look amazing, hold on. So the box is from Spellcro. Let's go ahead and write that down. Yeah, if you, have a, <laughs> if you have any kind of fear of nurgly things, you're not gonna like that either. Anyways, how am I doing today? Exciting to see you paint the Snarly Demon, I will. Let's do this. Here we go, Spell Crow. Box opening, so if anybody wants to know, that's what I'm doing. That was kind of like a spur of the moment, last minute thing. Let me put that paper up there, there we go. All right, so let's look at some of the cool minis. That is a orc with a blender bus. I, I'm telling you, we're gonna do a giveaway. I think I know what we're gonna give away today. There's another orc with the blender bus. We have, we, this, is a, this is very good. Okay, oh cool. Giant, half giant with two weapons. That's a good one for skin tones. Yeah, it does look great, doesn't it? Cannon gun, hello, they call him Ban. Love me some gross demon action, awesome. We're showing off this Belco box that just came today first. This one is called Northern Dwarf with Axe and Shield. He's cute. I'm gonna set these, see what's, oh, there's another Northern Dwarf with Axe and Shield, so we've got one to paint, one to give away, maybe more. Okay, there's a bunch of axes, dwarves with axe and shield, that's good. Some of these might end up being for a class. To be honest, I think, like this guy would be great for a class. All right, what's this one? Oh, there's another dwarf, northern dwarf. He's got a different color resin, but he's a little easier for you guys to see. Please, no bear owl. <laughs> you just want to sleep. You cannot stay here all stream. Okay. <laughs> Do we want to see the minis? What kind of dumb question is that, Miss Toshi? <laughs> yes. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of these. I'm probably going to end up using those for class because there's so many. There's another half giant with two weapons. Okay, good. I might. There's another half giant with two weapons. I vaguely remember talking to Tatiana about these. Here is another half giant with two weapons. Okay, so we're getting, looking like a class is starting to form here. This is awesome. All right, this is, oh, look at him, he's awesome. Gnome with a musket and he has a kilt. Mystery Zero Studio and a little Scottish hat. How cute is he? That's calling your name. <laughs> that him right there. 
Right, this one I need to shake up a little bit. Let me see if I can slide this. You got a haul of paints and minis from Salute and the big tabletop working con in the UK. Yeah. Awesome. So you're painting a big painting. You're on a big painting trip. Okay, so this is like a little a little pig with sharp teeth. He's cute as heck. Oh, he's kind of like a squig. He's a pig, he's a pig squig. What is he called? A new glack. New glack. He's cute as heck. I like him. Thank you, Spellcro. You need him? I know you need him. She needs she needs the little dwarf with the Scottish kilt. And the I think he's got a little pipe. He's got a little pipe. Mm hmm Okay. What else? There's another. So yes, okay, some of these are definitely for my next class. And some of these are just to paint and have fun with. This is called an ARG. This is another. Oh my gosh, look at that. He looks like a Skeksis com combined. How do I do this? A Skeksis combined with a squig. The light is a little bit harsh. He is cute. <laughs> a pig squig. Where's the half giant with three weapons? He's got two weapons. Oh yeah, where is? <laughs> yeah, where is the half giant with two weapons? You can you try to learn Java and paint at the same time. That sounds difficult. All right, there's another dwarf with an axe. That's that's the yeah. Those are for class for sure. One's a beginning class. One's a skin tones class. There he is again, and there he is again. That's. For sure, a be good beginner class. So what's great about this mini here is his face is covered with beard and hair, and then he's got a little bit of skin on his back. So I can teach people skin, metal, hair. You know, he's pretty, pretty. You know, he's pretty basic. So I could kind of teach a intermediate and a basics class with that. There's another. Half giant with two weapons. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's another half giant with two weapons. This one is, what is it? It's some other kind of squig type thing. It doesn't have a name. It is, oh my god, that's adorable. Look at that. That's when he's sticking his tongue out. That one looks like a puppy. And he's got a little piggy tail though. And that one looks like a very mischievous cat. <laughs> That's amazing. What does it say? So spell crow. What does that say? Something. Can't read it. Alright. That one didn't have a label, so I don't know what it's called. Whoa, Steve Amy Texas just reached the rank of master painter. Let's give some hype. That means that Steve Amy Texas has been watching me since I created these ranks. That's fantastic. Is my next class in Sydney? So Jester, it's not a class. It's just come out and hang out and paint with me. I'll definitely show you stuff if you come to it, but it's just like a hangout because I don't have a work visa. And I'm not gonna get kicked out of Australia trying to work, you know, on the land, you know, under the under the table there. Okay, this is awesome. It's a it's like a little halfling with the eagle. It's a burb. Sneaky, it's a burb. Sneaky's like, ah. <laughs> I think we might have to give away some of these ultra cute ones to some people, I think. We've got one for sneaky, one for Three Zero Studio. Those might have to get given away. Oh, cool. Dwarf with the two-handed hammer. Look at, he looks amazing. He is fantastic. He has the sword in one hand and a hammer in the other. These are awesome. Lots of hype. <laughs> oh, cool, look at this guy. Okay, so this one is called Goblin with the Big Feather. Goblin with the big, he does have a big feather. Goblins are amazing. 
Look at he's got a little treasure chest. He's just, he's pimping. He's pimping. We're gonna paint some of these. Oh, look at that. Another, another one of these kilt dudes. I gotta give one of those away. Definitely. And there's another pig squig. Seems like they have a lot of stuff and you can, they'll help out and you can give, give you some. <laughs> We're gonna do some giveaways. Today is our monthly giveaway and I just, Happened to get these in time. The only ones we're not gonna give away is the Half Giant and the Northern Dwarf because those are definitely gonna be for class. There is another one. Okay, we got a bunch. I won't be running out of these for sure. Okay. Let's see what else there is. It is a big feather. <laughs> hey, Teveston. Okay, another one of those. I'm trying to find the things. I think that, oh, this one is amazing. Oh my God, you guys have to see this. Halfling with the pig, and he's got an enormous hat on with all kinds of rolls stuffed in the hat, in the hat band. And he's got this little pig poker knife and a scroll, and this amazing little, ooh, little oinker pig. So much Velcro, I know this is like so much Velcro. <laughs> okay, more of that, more of that. Let's see. Okay, this one is cool as heck. This is called a hobgoblin in armor. All right, let me find how to show you this. I have to pull it out so you can see it because it was turned upside down. Look at him. He's, he's awesome. Do you remember the witch? from um, Legend. He, this one kind of reminds, except for he's got armor on. That's a hobgoblin with armor, that's amazing. These are fantastic. We need some hype for Spellcrow. Can we do like, is there a way to do, let's do a link to Spellcrow.com. If somebody can throw that up who's a mod, I would appreciate that. Because Spellcrow is one of, definitely one of my channel sponsors. Oh my gosh, Northern Dwarf with fish helmet, fish helmet, and a fish gun wins. This wins. Fish helmet. <laughs> oh my God, these are all resin. These are all resin. They're cast, they're sculpted. There's another eagle. Okay, we can give that one away too. Eagle. Okay, so we're gonna give away for sure one of these eagle dudes. We're gonna give away, because we got two of those. We're gonna give away one of these Scottish dudes, okay? I'm setting aside the ones I wanna give away. More burbs. Yes, that's the same, that's the same. There's a, okay, there's a halfling with a pig. We can give him away too. And there's another goblin with a feather. I know, I want there to be another fish helmet to give that away. So far I've got four minis that I'm gonna be giving away. I don't know if I'm gonna give them all away this stream or you know, save them for other streams. They're more the same, more the same. Oh, what's this? This is a cob goblin with the fork. I can't see where the fork is, but he's a hobgoblin with a fork. That's awesome. Oh, we got a fish helmet. We're giving this away no matter what today. I think fish helmet is a win. You're gonna sleep. Okay, now here's the thing. I'm gonna start this, that's the other thing about this. You gotta be present to win. I'm sorry you're being, I don't mean to make you stay up past midnight. But it's so hard to track people down. How, how about this? You turn out to be a subscriber and you win. I'll go ahead and save it for you. You don't have to be present if you're a subscriber. I'm not trying to make you subscribe if you don't want to. You, that's not what I'm trying to say. It's just easier for me to track down my subscribers because they already got their email, everything. Minis on minis on minis. I know, so many good ones. So many. Okay, what's this one? This is another ARG. This is the Northern Dwarf. Okay, I think that's it. Let me check. 
Okay, there's there's another hobgoblin with a fork. That's enough. We've we've looked at everything. Now we're gonna set up the bot for the giveaways, and we're gonna use points. So my lovely people who follow me all the time, you know what that means. You're gonna be able to buy stuff with your points. Two weapon dwarf is probably the best, yeah. He might be. This one, there's only one of him, I think. So I'm gonna keep him, I'm gonna paint him online. But fish helmet and door, uh, goblin with the feather and the Scottish one and the piggy, piggy halfling. We're gonna give away those for sure today. So we'll have, we'll have more than one. I know, it's piles of potential. I know. I need to make sure to use this stuff in a class and giveaways. Otherwise, I will just have so many models. I don't need to have more models than I know what to do with. <laughs> okay. I'm almost done here, guys. Bear with me. There's the fish. These are the ones. There's the big feather. There's the piggy. There's the burb, the, the halfling with the eagle, and there's the Scottish one. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go set up the bots. We'll have it pick four winners. Oh my gosh. All right, be right back. I'm gonna go set up the bots so you guys can enter. And yeah, you check your points now because I'm gonna, people are gonna be entering and you won't be able to check until I, all right, check. Be right back.
right. A raffle is now open. Type spell crow to enter. Entering costs 10 gold stars. You'll need to be following the channel and the raffle will close in, si in 60 minutes. So in one hour, we're gonna pick one or two winners, okay? And then we're gonna paint until that raffle is closed, okay guys? We've gonna, we got a three hour stream today. We're gonna be streaming until 7 p.m. So for you East Coasty, that's awesome. For you Europeans, I hope you're night owl. So, <laughs> that's, okay, let's go ahead and flip overhead. There we go, there we go, Spell Crow. Ooh. Put all these Velcro minis away. Fish head's coming out of his packaging. Oh, I have a caveat. Guys, don't forget, if you live, hold on, let me do my caveat. If you live outside the US, I need you to help me pay for shipping. So please remember that. It's probably only gonna be like $10, okay? Um, Cause yeah, that's it. And so I think that's the only caveat. If you um, are not going to be present, if you are a subscriber, you can still win because that way I can track you down. I have your email already as a subscriber. So, what happened? Hopefully today will not be um, cop eventful as your last stream Friday. I roll, right? I know. <laughs> exactly. It'll be okay. Don't jinx me. Don't jinx me. Okay, I'm looking for an exacto first of all for this mini. This. Okay, so let me show you the mini. There we go. This is the Nurgle Demon or the Maggot Demon. And you can see how his back is like bursting forth with all kinds of gross things. And this inspired me quite a bit because it reminds me of that frog. Yeah, he's gross. He's so gross. <laughs> Oh, you meant what happened to you during your stream? Oh yeah, no, don't even, mm -mm. we're not jinxing that. Nothing's like gonna happen to you, Sarah. No events, no events. <laughs> That's code, okay? Look at what I have, I have a schmoosh brush. By the way, I just wanna say something. I'm not trying to poo-poo on other people's Kickstarters, but Rosemary and Company makes a brush for smooshing. It's really great. They make a couple different sizes. I'm not gonna say anything else. <laughs> Us jewels. Us jewels. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Enter Minnie in chat to get a drawing for the Cthulhu guinea pig. Why does it say that? I didn't. Choshibot is so dumb. Don't enter Minnie, just for type spell crow. You sure these look similar to something else? What? Yeah, yeah, they do. Ew. I don't know what, but gross. Okay, let's paint. Oh, here's another smoosh brush. This is a better size. Look, different sizes of Rosemary and Company smoosh brushes. Oh, you meant the, the bra- Oh, yeah, they do look familiar, don't they? Hmm, I wonder why. Hmm. <laughs> Ignore Shoshibot. Shoshibot, we're not doing Cthulhu guinea pig. What range of Rosemary and Company do you I, do I use? I honestly, these are the only ones I have because um, it's hard to get Rosemary in my town, and so yeah, just not not gotten them. So I could have uh, base coated the uh, the Nurgle guy. I do need a. Exacto real quick. I need to look over him just to make sure. Here's my scalpel. You can buy these on Amazon. Just go look up scalpel and scalpel blades and they're so cheap and they're, you know, they're just as good as a, an Exacto and sometimes they're less expensive. The real question is, does Rosemary and Company sell damping pot? I don't even know what that means. Slag bomb? A damping pot? Yeah, the bot I can never figure out Phantom Bot. <laughs> is the domed hog brush? That's a good question. I think it is. It's very soft. So I don't think it's hog because it's, it's just very soft. It might, it's probably squirrel. I think it's squirrel. 
Oh, a damping pot. Meme has been getting meme status. That's awesome. All right, I'm just looking uh, along his skin. I'm looking because every time you prime something, guess what? That's when you find all the dang mold lines, right? And actually, I have one of those Citadel scrapers, which is an even better tool for getting rid of mold lines than a than a Exacto somewhere. It's never where I need it to be, of course. Never. There it is. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I got a couple files just in case, too. Hey, uh, Ghost of Wolf. Yes. <laughs> and I don't know how to fix that bot, but just ignore the part when he says enter mini. You want to enter spell crow. Like, I told it everything to do. Just about to order some plus a rig or two from Rosemary. That's cool. Good morning, Joanne. How's it going? All right, glasses are off, guys. I'm gonna just do a quick couple little scrapes so I can remove the mold lines. Some are kind of subtle, but I hope that they'll get picked off with uh, a little bit of a... Uh... There we go. Some of these older demons have... You gotta work on them a little bit. That's all I'm saying. If you're going to enter into Resin Beast, you get all this stuff off. Get it all. But once you prime it, you'll see all the stuff that's left to fiddle with. Here we go. He's got some teeth in his staff. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So I did a quick like sort of zenithal prime. He's gonna be he's gonna be kind of very greenish, brownish, gooey color. Because that's what color those frogs are that grow those babies out of their back. And that's why we're gonna do this this way. Oh the glasses, yes. Mold lines there, texture, yes. <laughs> Alright, I've got a couple cheap craft smart brushes cheap brushes from craft store. This one's a nice large one. It's a round number eight. And I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put some paint in this well palette. I don't know why my camera's just blitzing everything out. All right, so I'm gonna go through, let's see. We're gonna make a really gross color. A really pooey, gross color. Here's some, no, uh, our buckle's brown. And I think I'm gonna mix it. Mix it with the dark green, I think. Yeah, let's go with actually no, let's go with mm, I need a green. Despair green would be perfect, actually. Let me find my despair green. Box. Well, I'll just use a different green from this side. All right, we're gonna use black forest green. Green and red sometimes go together to make a poo color. Okay, we're gonna need lots because we're mixing a whole base color. Don't enter mini Joanne. Just type the word spell crow with no capital letters because the, the bot is, act, is, is being weird again. The bot is being weird. All right, we got that. Let's see what color that makes. Yes. Ooh, it's like a super dark green. We added maybe too much green. Not bad, we need more red. Okay. There we go, that's it. It's like a really rich dark green. That's perfect. All right, I'm gonna avoid all of the little spots that are not a hole and not a, um, what do you call it? Like a little, um, 
spike. What is that? A spine. We're just, this is quick speed painting, guys. And I can go in there with my little brush later, but I'm just kind of getting all of the big stuff painted first. And be careful about the spine. Look at that. He's so cool looking already. Saucy. Yeah, the giveaway is Spellcrow. We're giving away a bunch of Spellcrow minis. Um, just type Spellcrow. And and if my friends in chat here could be um, ever so lovely and just when people get come to the chat and get confused, let them know what, what's up. I would appreciate you all. Okay. Notice how the arm is getting lighter where the Zenithal priming is. That's awesome. And then we want this this to be a nice dark base coat. I'm gonna go ahead and go over his nails just as I can. So here's a trick with a big model when you're first, if you don't have an airbrush, just use a big brush. Just use a big brush and that will save you so much time. Can't imagine going over this model with like a zero or a one. That'd be insanity. Oh, Lost Spider, have you ever seen this channel before? We have, you have to have 10 points. Can some, maybe somebody can gift him some points. You gotta be a follower too. Make sure you're a follower. Okay. Oh, I love how this is getting kind of a little darker red down in the bottom here. Ugh, he's like a big frog. Hi, Rubbish Booty. Aw, uh, thank you, Greek Nacos. That's so nice of you. If you win and you live outside the U.S., you need to be prepared to pay shipping. Yes, thank you, Super Sarah. She is letting the folks know. See how the darker part of the primer is making the paint have a different kind of nuance? It's awesome. Flipping him around. Oh, oh. This might be a good model to wear gloves with. Oh, I painted over a hole. Save the holes. I called. I didn't call. I said hello. <laughs> How's it going? Be prepared to be a little grossed out by the snorkel. I hope nobody's afraid of holes. Flag bomb! Thank you for subscribing. That means if you leave, you'll be able to win anyway. As long as you're willing to pay shipping if you live outside the US. I gotta write down Flag Bomb's name. Thank you for your subscription. Woohoo! Mad love and hype. Thank you. So close to an entry. Oh, Black Dawn. Do you need just a couple tickets? You need a couple gold stars? I think somebody can give out a, I can give out a gold star if you don't get enough. You got some time too. This, uh, this raffle doesn't close for another hour. And every, I think every hour you earn enough to get uh, a gold star. A wordy. It's got a belly of, of like, oh my gosh. You see how fast this is painting because I have a giant brush? to the music. Gotta make sure to get in all of the nooks and crannies. In the booty, he's got a tiny warty booty. Yeah, just put um, exclamation point stars to check how many stars you have. And uh, he says, yeah, incidentally, if anyone's thinking of buying scale paints, they have a 15% with Happy Easter. Yes, thank you for that, Amberden. I 
forgot they just did that today. drying. <laughs> Damn it, now you want to buy a load of Skill 75 stuff. <laughs> yeah, don't enter mini. Just type spell crow. I wish I could figure out how to fix that. I don't know how, how it started because when you go to do the raffle, it, it automatically says exactly what to do. I don't know. Got one of those little horns in it by accident. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go over his face right now, just to get everything covered right. Even the mouth, even the inside of the mouth, gets a little coat. Drying a nice color, at least. This is the tricky part. I might have to switch to a smaller brush. The pot is drunk. <laughs> oh, there's a Chronicles of Run Kickstarter coming up. That's awesome. All right, now, let's, I think I can do one more over here. I think I'm gonna have to switch to a smaller brush and rinse this one out. Okay, see how all of that got up in the ferrule? This is one of the reasons why when you're using your good brushes, you always wanna be take care not to let paint get up in the ferrule, because that's a quick way to ruin even a good brush. But you know, with something like this, I'm gonna probably throw this away or use it as a dry brush. It's not gonna matter that much. I'm gonna try to get as much of that paint out as possible. Okay. All right, now we're gonna use a smaller brush. Do I have one? I do. I have this small one. Yeah. Now we can go in need some of the details. going around all the little holes as much as possible. You're going to go to Euro Miniature next month trying to, oh, the convent says, aiming to find some really cool larger scale display models and busts. Um, check Fair Miniatures and Scale 75. And gosh, there's so many cool companies out right now. Um, who else? Uh, Big Child has some really cool busts now. Whoa, glasses. 
Thank you for the follow. Four, I am magic. Thank you. You're, you're, thank you for that follow. Type, uh, spell crow is for the giveaway. Spell crow is the giveaway, not mini. We need like a command that says, don't say mini, type spell crow. As much as I'm, I'm trying to get, I'm gonna have to switch to, uh, this brush is a flat. I'm gonna switch, ah, to a good brush. Can we switch to, uh, this is a slightly better brush. It's still sort of a, a, um, a basing brush, but at least it's a little bit more pointed. And I can go in here, follow around a little bit cleaner. And then I won't be spending so much time cleaning up later. Okay, glasses are off. Type at shows these minis if you want to get my attention. What primer am I using? I'm using Steinol Res. It's my favorite primer. It's honestly the only primer that I use. It's fantastic. By Badger. <laughs> Greco is a reseller with a giant selection. I've not heard of them. I probably have, but I'm just not thinking like what they do. Black Sun of Hera has some nice busts and Black Crow. That's true. All those are good. Um, I don't know if Aradia is going to be there, but they're one of my favorite companies. Aradia Miniatures. Okay. So, is this, is this guy creeping anybody out? I hope not. I did put trypophobia on the tag, so hopefully anybody who does have a fear of holes will know what to expect and they're not freaked out. to get in here it's like there's it gets, it gets very crowded with all of the warts and the horns and the everything I'm just gonna stick a brush in there sometimes you just gotta make it work and then come back and paint over it later make it work okay I'm gonna check chat there's been a lot of chat today fun fact about hole phobia it's one of the only recorded phobias that spreads through knowledge of the phobia of existing. That is true, Slag Bomb. I totally forgot. I should have, maybe I shouldn't be mentioning it. Dester says, my personal project is to sculpt some busts of realistic people. Less godlike bodies, more real people. Please, please do, Jester Death. That sounds fantastic. I love that idea, especially like, no offense, but I love old, I love old men and old, you know, people in general. I think I'd love to be, you know, get in there and paint some wrinkles and, you know, age spots. When I was a watercolorist, um, I used to photograph people for my references and stuff. And I, I just loved older people, especially older men that, you know, like grandpa age, you know, 
they're just so much character and so much life in their face. There was this one guy, his name was Johnny Jones, and he was the uh, custodian for this company that I was working for, because I was selling, I was selling office supplies at the time. And he found out, like I took his picture and I told him, I said, I'm gonna make a painting of you. He's like, you wanna paint me? He was from New Orleans. He did not understand. He's like, why do you wanna paint me? And then I ended up doing this awesome painting of him and then he, like some people wanted to buy it and that just blew his mind. He's like, what do they want a picture of me for? You know, they did not get it, did not get it. So funny. And I had to explain, I, I told him, I'm like, well the art kind of, kind of becomes its own thing when he, when he gets, you know, when he, once it becomes art, it becomes like an object. And people, people want to have it. Okay, got the fingers, got these toes. Making sure I got all the fingers and toes down here too. Thank you for the follow. DJ Marl, how are you? Yoshi, is it okay if I put a list of shops in the chat? It might help. They call him Ben. Just whisper it to him, Slag Bomb. That's probably easier. Yeah, just, just whisper him. Vera Mirabellis did an old woman and I love it. The only thing is I, that I'm not as keen on is that um, they basically put her in a uh, Native American chieftain headdress. And if you know much about Native American lore, that's kind of like the equivalent of, um, like a, it's, how do I describe this? It's like, it's like a, Orthodox female rabbi, that's probably, or an Orthodox priest female, right? Like that's, it doesn't, like because I know so, enough about the Native American culture, it's like, okay, there's a disconnect because it's, it's like, there's two things that don't go together. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sarah. You're so funny with your caps lock. Rank. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, thank you for the, yeah. Oh, you're awesome, Mr. Scott G. You could buy this, but you think it's a one-off? They call him Ben, we, yeah, we don't, don't allow links in that. You have to, um, you have to get it approved by mod. There we go. There've been some not so great links in chat before so we and we're also careful because there's also sometimes people try to self-promote and we don't want them to do that kind of link either okay that is looking mostly done i think it's a little bit of right there oh this elbow I'm just looking around all the holes. I think I've got everything mostly covered now. Enough, covered enough. All right. Whew, okay. Now, we're gonna desaturate stuff. So I'm gonna look at these frog holes real quick here. We're gonna be doing some dry brushing, some smooshing with the smoosh brush. Let me look at the, yeah, the bodice itself is calling itself drunk. <laughs> Don't enter mini, just type spell curl the bodice <laughs> The bot is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Scott G. Oh my God, that's some fantastic. Miss Chosh, uh, I tapped on the death high twilight night because her ankles broke. <gasps> Oh no, she stands as is with no wash highlights or even at the moment. Oh, I know it's so frustrating when that happens. 
<laughs> the bot is so funny. All right, I'm looking. We need some weird variations in colors here. I need some kind of dusty brown. How about some light umber? Let's try this. And let's do a little bit of ochre. I'm using some of the monument paints. So let's do a little bit of golden brown. This is like an ochre color. Okay. Let's do a little bit of like a moss green. Do we have a moss green we can use? They have green. And then I need to desaturate it to get it to, I still need to open it. All right, that's bright. That's not desaturated in the slightest. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch over to my scale 75 that's already, that's a flay, field gray. That's perfect, it's already mixed and ready to go. Okay. That's perfect. I put a whole bunch on my palette because this is a big model. All right, let's get the smoosh. Let's get our smoosh on. Let's do the small smoosh. The small smoosh brush. These are from Rosemary and Company. And it's called Four Smooshing. You can find them. They're really inexpensive. Loving the adaptation of Grisale for maggots. Yes. <laughs> it, we're, yeah, we're basically using, so we're using the smoosh brush. We've got a little bit on the end of here. This is from Rosemary Company. I'm gonna blot most of this paint off. My hair looks great, thank you. I just got it done today. I'm gonna practice back here on his booty and see what happens here. Okay, we can, let's see, it's a little bit, it needs to be even less paint than that. There we go. Yeah, it's getting better. No. There we go, there we go. We might need to go back over some of this. I love that this um, green that we made is sort of satin, and then the contrast of the flat, dry is going to give a, a little bit of an effect that you wouldn't get if you just use flat, flat, right? And then a little bit of brown. You must be following, you must be in stream to win, unless subbed. If you win and you live outside the U.S., you need to help pay for shipping. There you go. Thank you for that, Mr. Scott G. You're awesome. And there, there's some brown on his leg there. Adding some tonalities to his frog-like skin. Oh, I love it. I like the brown on the on top of the green a lot. That looks amazing. Let's do a smidge of yellow. This feels like painting on canvas, guys. It's so much fun. I'm just gonna hit that top of that. What is it called? That's a calf. Top of that. Just the just the most warty bits. Get a little get a little yellow. Get a, little, get a little yellow. This guy would look creepy in a Lambo lime green. Yeah, I'm still not sure what color we're gonna make the the, the, the maggots, but we'll see. Okay, I'm using more of the field gray from scale 75. Good. Hitting it. It's looking nice. I like this. Use a little bit of brown and yellow for the chest over here. Ooh. I need to make sure that my brush has just 
the right amount of paint because too much and it actually gets a little smeary. That's the other downside of uh, dry brushing is you'll pick up lint. Green, a little bit of green. Ah, too much green. Hmm. All right, guys, my last stream before I go to Australia will be Monday. And I'll be streaming at from 2.30 to 5.30. So we're gonna continue on with our three hour streams, um, but we're just gonna do 2.30 to 5.30. So, ooh, I like that. Give me a second, I'm gonna check chat. I kind of on a roll with this. It's kind of really super fun. And the other nice thing about showing you how to do this is these creature caster models, when you get them, they're kind of intimidating. But when you approach it the way I, I am with the bigger brushes, right? If you don't have an airbrush, this can save your life. And I just found a freaking mole line, right? Or some kind of piece of flash. There's like a whole mole line all the way down his back right here. And there's nothing I can do about it except maybe put some gloss medium on top or some Bondic. We'll see, we're not gonna do it now. A Little bit of brown. All right, I'm gonna check chat. He's awesome. Scott G is helping. You like creative cast, uh, creature casters becoming more active with streamers? Me too. I wish um, more companies <laughs> would get involved with that because those are the ones that you're gonna see are gonna be up and coming. If you are a company, listen to me. We streamers are the future of internet influencers. Okay? Saying. Gotta get with us. <laughs> Hi, Odie Wolf. Word, right, Memnor? Get with us. You know, I'm telling you, you don't have to win competitions to get notoriety anymore. You don't have to win competitions to get notoriety anymore. I want you to live that, okay? Because here's the thing. If you are a good painter and you have a big presence online, it's the same thing. You can still be, you know, still be an influencer. I'm sorry. That was a very passionate thing for me. <laughs> I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit jazzed about this, this guy today. Cause that's, he is really, really, look at how cool. Look at how fun he is. All right. I'm smooshing into the crevices just a smidge. That's another thing you can do. You can kind of stipple. And then the paint. Oh, that looks good. I like that a lot. He looks so toadish. <laughs> toadish. When I was in um, middle school, I, I'm such a weird person. My my middle school self is like a thrill, a, a thrillion, a thrillion times. That's, that's more than a billion. It's a thrillion trillion times more weird. <laughs> Artie Wolf, just type, don't type mini. Type, um, type Spellcrow. Type Spellcrow. That's the word you want to type. Hey, Mikolas. We're giving away some Spellcrow minis today, so you got to type Spellcrow. Don't type mini. But the bot, the bot is, is, is erroneous today. I don't know why. Let's do some more green. Feel gray. See what happens when I just do a little bit of. Did you guys see? We're not going to talk about it, but did you see? Oh, it's time for a stretch break. All right, let's take a stretch break. I didn't realize it went by that fast. That also means that very soon we're going to have a drawing. We're going to have a drawing. All right, that's enough of you. Okay. 
right, take a stretch, everybody. Get a drink. It is going well, Mikolas. Looks toadish, broken toadish. Maybe, but except for it looks, uh, it looks creature casterish. <laughs> All right, let's stretch. Let's get up out of your chair. Ah, that's so good. You can't get up your chair. You're still in bed. Okay, well, stretch your toes in bed. Stretch your toes straight out. Now, put your put your heat feet back back toward your knees. <laughs> you can't make me. <laughs> and I'm gonna hydrate right now too. <laughs> Sarah, don't do that when I'm drinking water. I'm gonna I'm gonna naze my drink. <laughs> Sarah is here for comedic value. All right, you're getting your stretch right to the gas station. <laughs> Sarah's so funny. All right, look at this. Oh, look at how good the booty looks. He's all creepy and gross. And then I think, in contrast, we need to make all the maggots really slimy and nasty looking, don't you think? I need some green back back in here. A little bit. Okay. Oh, I have some news. Thanks to Bug King. Awesome advice. Um, I have, I'm working with my music producer again, and I'm going to be um, um, commissioning about six songs. They're gonna be like chill electro music because I find that that gets me in the zone. But that's just the first part of it here. I'm gonna explain this real quick. So the first six songs, and basically I'm gonna be building a library of music that I own, so all the rights to. It'll just be my music and it'll be songs that will shuffle so you won't have this loop and hearing the same songs all the time because that does get old. And um, so the first six songs will be chill electro, but the next set, I'm gonna be buying sets of six, like every quarter or every, well, so here, actually, it depends on you guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a donation goal up and you guys are gonna help buy the songs. And not only that, but you get to pick what genre of songs, I'll let everybody vote, of what songs you want in the library. So you can have like hard rock or metal or, you know, electro swing, whatever. I think that would be really cool. So yeah, that's coming soon. And um, so my producer, I have a producer that I'm working with, um, Custom Anthems, um, and he is going to, he's the same guy who made my theme song and the music that you're listening to right now. He's extremely talented and pretty good price. Um, so yeah, it costs about 300, I think $300 to make the six songs. And uh, so yeah, so for every $300 that this um, community basically crowdfunds, you'll get six more songs added. So tell me if you like that disco, sure. <laughs> Wheels on the bus loop, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I do get veto power, and nothing really silly. Cause I don't want to chase people away. <laughs> Give me some metalcore. Yeah, you can you paint some metalcore, really? I don't know. I I don't know if I can. Tell me, who here can paint some metalcore? I do. So I do like metal. I do. So I, I it is possible. I I like I like metal quite a bit actually. Rafi inspired songs in a loop. No, we're not doing any loops. Guys, no loops. We're doing, that's the whole point. See, Bug King, this is, I don't know if he's even here. He doesn't like, he doesn't like my loops, so he doesn't, uh, he doesn't, he can't stay in my chat. But everybody else wants loops. Songs about loops. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, Bagin. <laughs> you need to you need to scroll up because the chat just went nuts. They want songs about loops. They want a loop of metalcore. They want a loop. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no, Sarah's good at that. That's why I love her. Hi for Sarah. <laughs> Amazing. Sarah, you have to come to ReaperCon or Adepticon sometime. We have to meet. It'd be so awesome. I don't think we're gonna have to get some depends though. <laughs> because I don't think I can keep from peeing my pants when I'm around you in person. It'll be too much. <laughs> he does apologize for the almost deadly choking. <laughs> it's amazing. There's so much to, there's so much square footage on this model. So big. Okay, let me add a little more yellow to the top of him. I'm trying to get most of this yellow off this brush. There we go. That's see, that's so bright. There we go. Because we're trying to differenti differentiate the lighting here a little bit. Notice this is called scumbling when you when you kind of do it in a circle like this and it helps um, spread the paint around. There we go. See that looks good. <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. Who got the bot drunk? I don't, the bot has always been drunk. Because Shoshi doesn't really know how to use the bot very well. Yeah, like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna paint a little bit on his face. I'm just gonna try to smoosh some highlightings with the brown. Artie Wolf, wow, thank you so much for gifting, holy cow. Yes, you've given 30, giving the Oh, the Bug King gifted Artie Wolf. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Bug King. Let's write down Artie Wolf. He is now a subscriber. That's awesome. And uh, 0418. Thank you, Bug King. You've always called it buffing. Yes, that's a great way to describe it. Um, what else? I need to add a little bit of a lighter green, I think. I think I'm gonna add, I've got the field gray. Here, do the artist. Ardness green has a little bit more green color to it. Yeah, the field gray is more dusty gray. And this one has a little bit more green. Let's see if I can. <laughs> do that there we go yeah I like that a lot UC workshop is that how I say your name thank you so much for that follow I like that brown on his face I'm gonna need to leave that let's do a little bit more green that looks more toad like Let's see what happened there. A lot of green. That's okay. Push it. Push it onto his arms. I like that. Okay. Tonalities. Tonalities. A little bit of yellow. I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow with this kind of hardness green just to give him a little bit more color down on his belly here. A 
we're doing the smoosh. See that? Better. Oh, that's gross and good. Oh, I like it. Does he look like a demon? We're gonna put some brown on these horns. See, again with the speed painting. You know what I mean? After tomorrow, you can and ask. that yellow that looks nice I like that a lot let me put a little yellow in his center of his face now I'm just kind of brushing that giving that his center so he looks ooh he's scary do these little horns up here Look at his face come to life. Yes, exactly. I know. I feel like we need to do these talons a little bit. Now, consider this to be kind of sketch, a kind of sketching. Um, like Bug King said, we're kind of using the grizzale to sketch in. We can go in and, and, and paint a lot more detail, but I'm just getting an idea of where color's going. Need more ochre, or rather golden brown. Mr. Scott G, how did you, um, how did you learn to use the bot like this? How can I learn? <laughs> Internal best friend. <laughs> Oh, you don't have all the permissions? Okay. Huh. No, you don't. You're just, uh, I don't know how to do that either. If I knew how, I would help you. I would. Mike is the tech guy. He has, he, I think he has all the, I don't even know if he has all the permissions, to be honest. Protomaker has to grant that, likely. Yeah, I think so. Well, I will, I will work on that. We'll get some of my mods, we'll give them some permissions to mess with the bot. Oop, that's a, that's a maggot right there. I don't want to paint that yellow. Yee, look at how fast he's painting. Okay, so now we're starting to get sort of a focus. We want to keep the focus on the face, right? The human, the human brain looks for faces, and so you want to make sure to keep the focus on the face. So we're going to end up doing more work on that later. But first, let's go in with our yellow and our brown and color in the rest of these little spikes. Ooh, that's good. washes and stuff to also speed up this process. 
these are all just kind of what I would consider like intermediate techniques to, you know, get your paint done. Okay, I need a little bit more green on that. On the back. That looks good. Why doesn't he have spikes on this side? He's just got one one spike right here. Just one little spike up here. And then these guys. Give me one second. Did we did we pick a winner? Did the bot check? Alright, let's go look. We're gonna go look. I'm gonna go check see if the bot, because I bet, I bet it, this bot is so lame. All right, I'm gonna go look and pick a winner. Steve Amy Texas was the winner, but did you guys happen to see the bot pick the casual hobbyist? Casual hobbyist, please um, tell me if you're here, because you also won, if the bot did. So it was the casual hobbyist and Steve Amy Texas. But I don't know if casual hobbyist is here, if that was like an old, an old thing. So let me know if you're here, casual hobbyist. Otherwise, Steve Amit, Texas, you get to pick one of these amazing Spellcrow minis. Let's take a look here. We've got the halfling with the pig. Okay, he's got a big hat and he's super cute. Kind of looks like a uh, Lucky Charms guy. We've got the, which one? This is the halfling with the, with the, with the, with the, with the eagle. Halfling with the eagle. What are the chances it draws when you ask? I have no idea. Can't find his name. Okay, so that, that was the old one then. So it's definitely just uh, Steve Amy Texas then. We're gonna pick one more winner right after Steve picks his. Then we've got Fish Hat, Fish Helmet, Northern Dwarf. Love him. Oh, well, what? The, okay, the bot just picked Jacob, uh, Jacob Jansen. So that is, okay, that's fine that must have timed out now it's okay no it's all right I picked that one manually so this one this time the bot actually picked so um, Steve and here's goblin with the big feather and then there's gnome with the musket so Jacob Jansen if you're here you got to be present unless you are yeah which one do you want Steve we've got northern dwarf northern dwarf with the fish helmet and halfling with an eagle We've got Gnome with the Musket and Goblin with the Big Feather. You want the pig? Okay, I'm gonna write your name on this one. And go ahead and send me a message um, on Facebook or in, or in um, Twitch so that I can get your info and everything. 
Big feather? Oh, you want a big feather. Oh, shoot. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I thought he said the pig one. Mr. Scott G said that. I get it. Okay, Steve Emery, Texas. Okay. Okay. Tell me. Awesome. We got it. That's yours. You got the big feather. Now, is Jacob Jansen here? May not be here. If he's not here and he's not a subscriber, then he doesn't get to pick. Sorry, confusing that. Yeah, that was cute. Okay. Let me check the list and see if Jacob is here. Don't you? Yeah, he's here. Maybe he stepped away. Okay. Let's do at Jacob Jansen. Somebody right? Yeah. Oh, he might be. He might be a sub. Not sure. I think he is. I think he is. So we'll just set one aside. <laughs> Wake up. Okay, we're gonna pick one more person. Okay. We got plenty of models. We're gonna pick one more person. Have the bot pick one more. Rubbish booty. <laughs> All right, rubbish. I know he's like, he doesn't believe it. Rubbish booty. You want the burb one? The northern dwarf with the fish hat? Remember, rubbish, you gotta pay for shipping because you live outside the US. You better pick the eagle and give it to certain someone. <laughs> And this one is the gnome with the musket. And this one is the halfling with the pig. So let me know which one you want. Look at the fish. I know the fish hat is amazing. It's just hilarious. Hold on, let's look at this. Amazing. It's like holding onto his head. The bird one would be very popular with uh, one of your friends. Your mom crocheted you a fish hat, but it hubs took it. Okay. <laughs> Those are the four that are available. Rubbish, I think it's been chosen for you. It's still your pick. I need to make you make, you gotta make a choice. <laughs> We're gonna do drawings for the rest of these so, so stick around we'll, we'll start a brand new drawing you can buy some more tickets verb it is okay awesome all right rubbish booty on that I love the fact that I get to write rubbish booty nope oh, rubbish booty on the back of this there we go all right we got three more one of these is going to Jacob Jansen. So what the last so we got technically two more. So we'll do another hour of of um, bot goodness. Let me see if I can fix the bot since we get to do a new raffle. All right? All right, give me one. Give me one second. I will go check the bot. Fish hat goes to you. <laughs>
Okay, I believe that I fixed the bot, so you won't need to... Yeah, I think I fixed it. I changed it to mini. So, yeah, Mr. Scott G, I changed it to mini. So it should be mini. Enter mini. Oh, yeah, we need to change that message, Mr. Scott G, because now I changed it. You should be... You should enter mini. Oh, I confused everybody. <laughs> everybody type mini. Type mini. Because I changed it. Yes, there you go. You will never know. There you go. Okay, now we need to erase those old raffle messages, Mr. Scott G, if you can. You can just erase them. Exclamation point raffle message. Enter mini into the chat to get a drawing for some Spellcro minis. Thank you. Awesome. I think, yep, and it looks like, let me make sure it's compiling. I'll be right back. You can do donate your raffle. Can you donate your raffle position to Super Sarah? Sure. If you win, you can donate to anybody in chat you want. Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah, I know. I need to go check the bot to just make sure. All right, Slag Bomb just entered. I'm going to go check to make sure he's in the list. Okay, bear with me, guys. You will never know. We're going to scratch that because only a few people were actually entered. And so I need to fix the bot so that we're entering the right command and everything. I think I did mess it up again. Let me try one more time. We're going to get it right. Don't worry. The bot is drunk. Choshi is, is bot noobish. All right, be right back. I'm going to fix this. We're going to scratch that first. First, we're going to get this right. Okay, I'm sorry. Now try... Raffle's now open. Type Spellcrow to win. Or Spellcrow to enter. Cost five gold stars. We made this. We made the points less this time. So that way, if you have less points now, you can still enter. Okay. You added follower, the follower only. Yeah, I did. Right? You need to be following. Right? Okay. Spellcrow. We did it. Okay. Okay, spell crow, and then let's hopefully the bot command will say spell crow now. Okay, and it looks like the list is populating, so this is working. Yay, I did it. All right, awesome. All right, so we're gonna let this run for another hour, and then I'll 
um, pick two more winners and Jacob Jansen will win whatever's left, okay? Sound good? <laughs> All right, let's paint some. You know, I, I realize I maybe should have gone with a darker, a darker thing. That's okay. We can work. We can make this work. Velcro with no capitals, Falcon Punch Drunk. Make sure it's all lowercase. Okay? All lowercase. Lowercase Velcro. There you go. Enter Spell Crowd in chat to get a drawing for Spell Crow Mini. Must be present to win unless you are a sub. And if you live outside the U.S., please help pay for shipping. I did it. I did it. <laughs> That's awesome, Sarah. My husband is taking me to go see. There's. So have you guys ever heard of Roger Ebert? He is a very famous American film critic. He passed away, um, I'm not sure when, but um, he has a film festival in my town because he actually went to high school, was, was born in my town. And so we are going to go to this Roger Ebert Film Festival and we're gonna go see Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion, which is gonna be awesome. Love watching movies. You guys know that. All right, that looks good. Okay. Make the top of his ears and the top of his eyebrows a little bit better. Yeah. Roger Ebert hated video games? <gasps> oh no. I didn't know that. Why? That's so funny. Things you find out. Bring post it notes. Yes! <gasps> That's a great idea. I love it. I can't remember if Romy and Michelle were like, supposed to be like a little bit older than me or a little bit younger. I can't remember what generation they are from. If anybody knows, let me know, because I'm stumped. Oh, I see some, this is bugging me. I see some little mole lines. Oh, all over the back of his spines, man. Yeah, we're gonna use some, we're gonna cover that up. First we'll scrape some of this off. We're gonna get that off. Like I said, we're still kind of in the sketching stage. It's, we're not like high resolution just yet. Get that one, that one's a, that one is a maggot. Maggots for the maggot demon, right? He's a Nurgle, I think. So, just for time's sake, I'm going to work on one side and then kind of figure out what to do with the rest. Damn! <laughs> Good. That's awesome. Thank you, Sarah. That was really nice. Now Jester can go ahead and enter. Aw, fucking! I hope that you get better. It stinks to be sick, especially with Concred. All right. I'm gonna get some of the field gray again on my brush, my smooth brush. There's my smooth towel. There you go. I 
again, I'm just hitting those highlights of everything with the, with the smoosh. That's way too much paint on that brush. Neighbors just brought some over. So you know, actual real um, matzo ball soup is Jewish penicillin. So if you can get some of that, that stuff really, really works. Especially if it's made by a Jewish mama. Look at these hands. A little bit of brown. I like that dull brown in places, especially like on the parts of his skin that are less, like that are more kind of worn out. I like that right there. That like, like I said, we're gonna make the we're gonna make the maggots look extra gross and slimy. It's a juice recipe, awesome. Yes, yeah, so it definitely will. Af absolutely. Good stuff. Okay, now. We just have our kind of start. This is just the start. I'm gonna erase, my, uh, not erase, rinse my brush. I'm not very good at cleaning my brush. Hi, Mr. S Mistress Nivea. Get everything at the gas station, gasoline and everything. All right, now we're gonna do some washes. I think I will use some Caspian Flesh Wash by P3 and see what that does. It's got, a, I think a, one of them has like a yellow tone. I've got Caspian, I've got the other one. Is this one yellow? It's got a big old chunk of wash on the top of there and the hole is plugged too there we go beer hello there we go yeah this is a good color you wish there was a pill that could cure anything <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get, this is a nice brush. This is a Windsor Newton, but I'm just gonna poke some of this wash into the crevices to see. Ooh, look at that. Look what that does. That looks instantly toad-like, doesn't it? Hope that it dries just a smidge. Oh my God, look at that. See how all the nuances are popping out now? We want that, we want that. Love it. I know it's gross. So gross. Me too. I like it too. I want I don't know if it's gonna dry this nice, but we're definitely getting that toad skin feel to it. Okay, I just I wanted to put a little bit over there to see if it went yellow on me, but it didn't, so it's okay. That is awesome, gross. You bet doing some spots with purple wash? Yes, we will, that's a great idea. That is a great idea. What's also nice about the wash is if you kind of missed, lost some of your shadows, this will go down into the crevices and, you know, reestablish shadows for you.
So gross. Love that color though. Caspian wash has like more of a yellow kind of sepia tone to it. That if we would have used like an Agrax, it would have had more of a red tone to it. And I don't think it would have looked as, you know, toad-like. So the other nice thing about having a wash, it's gonna hide and blend some of our little dry brush looks a little better as well. Now let's see what happens when we put some on the face. Ribbly, yes, that's a great word for it. Ribbly. Put some on the, on the horns here. Ribbly. It's hopefully gonna dry better than it looks right now. It will. I really like how that looks on the bottom of those vines. Looks like a big warty cane toad. Exactly. I think that's a perfect. Let's look at cane toad real quick. Cane toads are so gross. Is it K? Is it K with the or C? Cane. B e O. There we go. Cane toad. Oh my god. Yes. Images. Yes. It does look like a cane toad. This is a good image of a cane toad. Queensland Times. Copy. Let's see. Image address. Here we go. Gonna work. Wait. I can copy this into chat so you can see my reference. There we go. Did it work? It didn't work. That's okay. You'd like to do that with some gross water effects? Yeah, coming out of the boils. Yeah, we're gonna do all kinds of good stuff like that. Look how it's drying. Look how it's drying, it's awesome. Oh my gosh. fantastic as it's drying. It's having those tonalities and everything. Dark shadows. I do think so having some purple would be nice. There we go. We need more more wash. They make a lot of popping. Don't tell me that, Joanne. No, I'm going to Australia next week. I don't want to drive over. We're going to be in Queensland. We're going to be in Queensland and in Canberra and in Sydney. I don't want to drive over Cane Toad. That'd be nasty. I don't want to drive over any number. This is rubbish booty. This is Caspian. Not even showing up. Caspian flesh wash by um, P3. It's kind of a. I think it's pretty much a seraphim sepia. Seraphim, seraphim sepia. It's, it's pretty close. You could use that instead. Love how, oh, I love how it's drying. Look at how awesome. Now it feels more like a flesh, right? Because it's not so dry looking. Gave it just a little bit of a, kind of a skin.
All right, thank you so much, Sarah. Don't forget to make sure you entered and everything. Cane toads are generally a Queensland thing, but they're making their way towards Sydney. Oh my goodness. I heard they're even kind of trying to get over to Perth, but they haven't been able to cross the desert. They're just so invasive. I got everything good and covered. I think everything that's supposed to have a wash on it. Maybe on the inside of his legs there. There we go on his feet. Okay. That looks good. Shall I, I'm gonna take a second to hair dry. Look at how that's drying nice. Face is drying nice. Bye Super Sarah. Thanks for the last. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna mute and I'm going to hair dry. All right, I'll be just a second. I wasn't able to get it completely dry. There's still some spots. See, you can see there's still some wet crevices, but we're gonna try to stay out of those. I'm just looking. How did everything turn out? Looks like the wash really helped meld the colors together a lot. So if anyone ever tells you, don't use wash as a drying brush. It's a beginner technique. Don't listen to them because they can work really well together, especially um, if you're using a good quality brush. You may, like if one of these smooth smoosh brushes um, or something, even a makeup brush, talked about that um, online, I can't remember who was asking me, um, but you can use a makeup brush that's a little cheaper sometimes. And if you're using a good brush in these washes, you can really make it look awesome. All right, so now I want to keep him kind of dull. I'm going to, I need to mix my greens so that I can get kind of a dull yellowy green color. I want it to be really dull though. I want it to be very desaturated yellow. I feel like I need to add a little bit of red. Let me try to add a little red and see what happens here. Hmm. This is the red that I have in my Arbuckles Brown. It's a type of red. Can't wait to buy the Artist Opus dry brushes. <laughs> that's funny. Well, that's good. Um, Like I said, keep in mind, makeup brushes and Rosemary and Company makes smoosh brush. All right, let me try to, oh yeah, that, that was what it needed. It needed just a little bit of 
red in it. So it's a more of a, mm, I need a little more yellow. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try to tap you here. Do these little bumps. Notice I'm kind of stippling it on. Because I just want to catch, ooh, it's got just enough red in it that it's going to have kind of a, almost a flesh tone color. It'll be awesome. That'll make it look even creepier when it has just a little bit of flesh look in it. Sometimes that makes it even more gross. Just a, it looks a little bit more red to me than it does on camera. It's not picking up all the reds. Red is opposite of green on the color wheel. And so they contrast. That's another type of contrast that you're gonna get. Yep, now you can, absolutely. A little bit of this pink on his hand. Oh my God, I love him. I think it just needed a smidge of red to feel alive. Let's do a little bit on his booty. Nuances, guys, nuances. Somebody said something about purple. I think that's going to be the next thing we try. There we go. Put the red in there. Ooh, he's gross. Putrid purple. Mm. I put just a smidge of red into his face. Okay, I'm gonna take take the brush, rinse it out real quick. I'm going to let's see. I need to go in and add a little red. Where's my our buckles brown. Here we go. I feel like I need to add some some um, life to him. I'm just thinking about his ears. Let's do a little bit of a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow. This is a very very limited palette, guys. yellow make kind of a mauve kind of color and I can actually get in here and paint his gums with it. Just like the perfect color and his tongue. out I need a little bit of um, a little bit of white or cream or ivory 
let's do this cold, cold, warm, bright green. It's actually like a really desaturated green. It's called bright, warm gray. I think it'll add something, I hope. Is it time for a stretch break? Thank you, Steve. Dry brushing gives him a graphic novel kind of quality in a good way. I agree. I agree. In like kind of like a spawn, like kind of like spawn. All right, let's take another stretch break and another hydration break. Ah. That feels really nice. I like to stretch. Are you guys enjoying yourselves? I think we need more color, uh, more like pink color on his belly. I feel like that needs to be a thing here. Let's see what happens when we highlight just, oops, we gotta show you guys. Ah, Voltiga, wait. Voltiga Fatso, I, th I think that's how I say it. Or Voltiga, Voltiga Fatso if you're German. <laughs> there we go. Look at this. See how that pops out? This is with the pink. So, something to keep in mind. I actually learned this from Alfonso Herardes. When you're painting a monster, every creature that is alive, if it's not dead, needs a little red somewhere or a little purple. Your stretch break involved you pressing the recliner button. <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, if that's a stretch for you, then that's okay. All right, more red. A little bit over here. Get in there with your fingers even. Even that feels, oh, he feels really hideous, doesn't he? Oh, he Do his little kneecap in a pink way. There we go. A little bit on the top of the feet. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Thank you. Plea Whistle, how are you? Super deep wells in the sculpt really came a lot. I know. That's what happened when we added that wash. And it, it also just blended everything so cool. But we got to do something with his face. So give me a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna look up demon because I I don't usually paint scary things. I'm gonna look up demon face. Hmm. Okay, this is good. This is. Somebody's been spending a lot of time painting demon faces at least. Really good inspiration on here. Good, good. Okay. Those are very scary. All right, I found something that I think I can use. It involves me going even lighter with his face with more flesh tone, which I think is gonna be good. So we're gonna go with scale 75, a little bit of blacker brown I need to shake this really, really well. I need some pink. I'm oddly, hold on. I wonder if I can mix that with the reds. Yep, 
Yeah, I need the I need the black or brown. Hmm. This one hasn't even been opened yet. Oop. All right, so that's flesh tone. I need an even lighter flesh tone, like moon ray flesh. Moon ray flesh. And then I need some kind of blue. We'll go with a we'll go with a blue. So let's do. There's this fair green. I was looking for that earlier. Too late for that now. Let's go with hold up blue. We're gonna do some deep, deep shadows of blue in his face. Oh, dripping everywhere. We're using the fantasy in games, so it'll be a shiny a little bit. That. Remember to use purple washes to stain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do the purple wash now. Where is it? Dra uh, Drakenoff Nightshade Ore. We'll use some violet. Violet ink. That That's an ink, so I want to use a wash. It'll have a different effect. you got to pay attention. Washes and inks aren't the same thing. Um, of course, I'm not looking. I'm not finding. Here's my... That's piggy purple ink. These are both inks. We could make a wash with some P3 mixing medium. Um, here we go, Drucci Violet, that's what I want. This is an actual wash. These are gonna be completely different and they're gonna dry shiny. Whereas there's some medium, some different stuff in here that makes it go into the crevices. Perhaps all the way to red where the maggots, I'm not, Ready to do maggots right now, but I do want to put in some kind of like bruising looking colors into some of the crevices to see. Let's see what happens when I put. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. I got me on my brush. Okay, so let's try this again. Like that. that that's really awesome. Purple. Let's yeah. Let's try the try the wash around the maggots. We want to go do all the way to red. We can see about that. Not sure. I think I want to do some around here with the yellow. Yeah, I think you're right, Bug King. I think it needs to be more reds around here. This is purple. Purple and yellow are opposite on the color wheel. I'm gonna use some of this purple ink around the lines. I'm gonna smooth that out a little bit because I don't want to. I don't want a tea stain. Yeah, that looks excellent around the yellow spines. Pretty good. I love that. That is awesome. I think red around the maggots is gonna be good because they're like being birthed, right? That means we gotta we gotta do some coloring on the maggots then first. Alright, give me a second. Glasses are off, so if you wanna give me attention, use that show she's minis.
yeah. Okay, so good. some stuff is drying on here. I love how that's turning kind of brown because we can, we can go lighter later. Really grimdark, huh? Is that the right word, grimdark? And it's got that one little stupid spine over here on its shoulder. I don't really, if I were sculpting it, I would just have taken that one off. He has spines all the way on the other shoulder, but not on that one. All right, that's good. He looks like a rotten piece of fruit. That's awesome. Now, Let's go with the maggots. We're gonna go with, we're gonna, remember like those widgety grubs we did for, it was like a while back I did those. Perhaps all the way to red where the maggots are coming out. Yep, yep, we're gonna do that. What's the name of that frog that has the holes in its back? If you just Google frogs, it's called um, a Surinam toad. Surinam toad. Beware if you're afraid of holes. Don't look that up. Don't look that up. Yep, Cernum Toad. Yep. Hey, Cosmic. Cosmic Cubicle. Welcome. Look away for five min minutes and progress is unreal. Yeah, he's he's making progress. That is, for, I forgot all of the purple over here. Yeah, you guys know him fast. Teaching you some speed painting techniques for large models. And obviously one of them is use washes and dry brush. And don't be afraid of it. All right, now I'm gonna poke this in all of the deepest recesses. We can get that dark purple shadow. That's even better. Getting some, um, what do you got? Getting your volumes, right? Exaggerate your volumes. Yeah, that's, that's looking good. I like that purple in the deep crevices. many on this side that's okay later rubbish booty send me your info rubbish booty so I can send you this mini okay pretty sure I have it but I just want to make sure I have it okay send it on Facebook by making your crevices dark, it's gonna be that much easier to make your other stuff pop up, right? Yeah, I like these little little bumps over here. Okay, I'm looking, there's some really big crevice over here. I need to put something in there. I'm on his face. Under his eyes. Made the inside of his mouth real dark by putting that in there. Flesh this, I'm gonna thread, feather that out. There we go. All those gross crevices. I 
Okay. Let that all dry. I think now it's time to go lighter now. Yeah, you can go back with the dry brush, hit the yellow harder, then after that the purple and yellow are friends. Yes, you're right. That is true. Purple and yellow are friends. Thank you for that, Mr. Hoax. That's a very good point. I can go back and hit some of these little highlights here. Yeah, that's a really good point. What he's talking about when he says the purple and the yellow are friends is that that wash is now kind of blended in with the yellow, right? They are friends. They're, they're part of each other now. All right, he's looking ultra toad like I have to get the maggots done. Let me go look up witchetty grubs now. It's like my favorite thing, not my paint on my glasses too. This is like an Australian demon. He's got widgety grubs and cane toads. Okay, widgety grubs. Oh, hate them. I just like. Hmm. What? Oh my God. They're really big. Don't look this up, guys. Mm -mm. Okay. So the trick with the grub is underpainting. Underpainting. It's already got, we've already got quite a lot, but we're going to, now we're going to do some overpainting and we're going to use a little bit of gray. I need a little bit of gray or actually a little bit of gray blue almost. Where's my, here. We use this kind of purpley brain eater blue. Okay, that'll be like an underpainted part of it. Oh, man. Don't like. You're working on an old kit of hex rates, black nights where you're going to make all the fire on them super orange because the models are mostly people that's going to look awesome so what he's talking about the complementary colors of the teal and of the um all right i'm painting all the little grubs purple to start but i'm going to attempt and i don't again i don't know if this is going to work i'm going to attempt to paint them like i'm going to highlight the the purple with the yellow. I don't know if that's gonna work real well. Some parts it might not. This is Brain Eater Azure, by the way. It's um, it's nice because it's got a little. It's a little closer to blue than purple, and so hopefully we won't have to jump so far. Is because when you when you working with uh, like highlighting purple with yellow it's, you're gonna have this kind of mud color in the middle all right I'm gonna stop and, and test my theory out and do one more over here I kind of wonder what the concept artist and the original one, what the original um, sculptor thought was thinking when he was doing this, and what colors he was thinking. That looks really pretty with the with the purple. It's too pretty. 
instead of, okay, so instead of highlighting with yellow, I think we're gonna highlight with the, um, the Moonray Flesh, which has a little bit of red in it. It's a flesh tone. But maybe I can bridge. Yeah, I can. Good, okay, it's gonna work. We've got the, blue, the purple undertone with underpainting, and then we're doing our second layer with the flesh tone, which is the Moonray Flesh. My glasses are off, so get my attention with Shoshi's Minis, at Shoshi's Minis. Good, I like that. So, the, so this is, we're not going straight to yellow. We're going from purple to basically a peachy pink, peachy. It's actually peachy. Then we're gonna go to yellow and then it won't, it won't get muddy on us. Be harmonious. Now, what color? Okay, like I need to look at the grub again. I'm gonna use a little P3 Menoth White Highlight because it's already it's a satin, and so we're again we're we're using satin paints, we're using flat paints together, but we're trying to achieve different things. The satin has a chance to glaze over, oh yeah, it's more white, isn't it? Does it look grub-like? It doesn't to me. Hmm. What are we gonna do? We need to make it more yellow. It's a pretty con, the, it's, a pr the, it's the pretty, pretty contrast to the growth that makes it, yeah, I think you're right. Let's just work, let's just roll with it and see what happens. Because we can always add like a red wash to it to make it creepy maybe, I don't know. Let's try it. There's a little teeth here. I'm gonna use the, just the um, Menoch White. Little, little claws on the demons. Maggots, mag maggots shouldn't have claws, but this one does. Right, let me go back to the moonray flesh. This time I'm going to mix a little bit of the azure, rainy eater azure, with the moonray flesh. See if I can glaze it a little bit. Oh yeah, that's it. A little bit less pink. That looks cool. Trying to see the holes now. Desaturated that that white. It's no longer white. It's like a like a gray now. Like a yeah. I think that works a lot better. That one needs to be pure Azure, Brain Eater Azure. I think we need to make some transparency with some of these pustules, like they're about to pop, like kind of like a pimple. And I'm gonna show you, I did this once with the Lonely was it the lonely tree? And it was really gross. It looked like it looked super nasty. I do think the contrast between the, the 
colorful and the, I'm going over this white, it's bugging me, it's too white. It needs to be like black, I think it needs to be black. I'm just gonna go over all the holes now because I'm on a roll here and I wanna I wanna make this whole thing work together. Let me look at the chat. I see my name. Any plans for blood? Other fluids where the maggots are. Yeah, we're going to try to do some, oh, that's a good Google. Mm. Um, we're going to do some red washes and stuff and see how that looks. But I, first I want to get the colors of these oils and everything good. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, that looks really good. That side looks fantastic. Now this side. It doesn't quite feel quite like holes yet, does it? There's something missing from it. We'll get it back, don't worry. There's so many on this side. Bear with me, guys. Okay, like a look, and then there'll be another one, and then like and another one, and another one. Ew, 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 ew. I'm still trying to paint these relatively quickly because. I'm not trying to bore you. Tapping into this like weird world of this demon is, is kind of strange. You kind of have to become like what is it? Why is it? Well, you know, you have to ask yourself these questions. Why is this going to be this color? What is what is causing that color? Right? I don't want to make his tongue purple too. Just a little bit. Actually, that looks good. Now they're married. They're best friends. All right, let's take a look at chat. Which of these like taste like chicken? Joanne! <laughs> I heard they taste like peanut butter. Your Lonely Tree on YouTube was just, yeah, it was a personal project. It was. I don't remember if I painted the fruits on, I think I did. So the fruits were, were like, um, yeah, they were really gross. All right, so we've got these purple maggot things. They're not 
they're not where I want them to be. Let's try some high key yellow. See if we can, like I said, I, I said maybe we'll highlight these in yellow. We'll see what happens. I'm trying not to add too many colors, but oh, might not have a choice. Ooh, I like that high key yellow a lot. All right, let me go to the ones that are sort of like That already feels more maggot-like than it did just a minute ago. Yep, I think that's that's it. It needs that purple at the bottom though to contrast that yellow. Joanne, what state are you in? Aw, thank you so much. Wow, guys, give the hype. Mad Love Black Skull, waka waka waka. Seven months on Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Now, where did my pen go? Did I drop it? Mad Love. Yeah, it's on my desk somewhere with all the other stuff. There it is. How are you, Black Skull? Yeah, the height. Thank you so much. A A S A U L L. 1965. Thank you for your subscription. Pam Linagog says, or Tim Linagog, can you talk a bit about why yellow works and the previous ones did not work as well? Again, it goes back to, we're trying to kind of make a grub-like look. It's reading as white a little bit. But the purple and yellow are opposites on the color wheel. So they're gonna have, they're gonna have contrast. But the purple also um, acts as my shadow, right? For my yellow. It's hard for me to talk about, honestly. Let's see. But the, I think the main reason why it works is we're trying to get sort of this like, almost like this transparent, like grub skin, right? Well, the purple on the bottom is my underpaint. And then this yellow is very transparent. When you paint this, like look at that. See how much you can see through my skin? Can you even see that online? And so when I'm painting a transparent layer of the yellow, it's not, it's, uh, it's kind of going over the gray, but it's letting some of that gray show through. Well, I think when I did the white or the peach, it was canceling, like each, each layer is a filter. And I think that the yellow doesn't cancel out the reds and the purple. Or if it does, it does it in a, in a way that makes it look more like a grub. Gosh, I wish my color theory was better. And I could explain that better. I really apologize. Right, I'm gonna just also experiment a little bit over here. Bring this over here because if I introduce a color, I wanna introduce it in another place again. So like he said, so they kind of feel married. I actually love that yellow on top of that, top of that horn. Ooh, that that one didn't get colored purple. I missed it. I hope I made it a little bit of sense. I'm, I apologize in advance if I did not. Oh, Super Sarah Wonder Fish hat. Oh, she's gonna be so happy. That's great. Oh my gosh. Let's go pick another winner too, because there should be another one. Okay, I'm glad that helped. It's Super Sarah 1313, right? I think that's it. I'll contact her. I know how to get a hold of her. Let's go pick one more winner, and the last person gets to win 
one of these, okay? Whoever doesn't win, wh whichever one doesn't get picks goes to, um, goes to Jacob Jansen. And then, um, so we've got the gnome with the musket and we've got the halfling with the pig left. All right, so I'll go pick. One more. Falcon Punch Drunk. Oh, the bird one is gone. Yeah, the bird one is gone. Falcon Punch Drunk. Congratulations. There's only two that are left. Are the gnome with the musket? He's the little, wait, let me show you again. The little guy with the Scottish kilt and the hat. And he's got a little pipe. And then there's the halfling with the big hat, um, hat and the little pig. So we've got halfling with the pig and the gnome with the musket. So whichever, and yay, if, if Jacob Jansen is back, we can go ahead and give him whichever one that Falcon doesn't pick. If Falcon is here, let me know if you're here, Falcon Punch Junk. That's the thing, is sometimes people leave. I know Falcon is, is a, oh, uh, there you go, you want the pig, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna write this here. Contact me with your information so I can send it. I think I have it. But send it anyway. Punch. Drunk. Okay, awesome. And that means Jacob Jansen gets this one. Okay, and I'll contact him. Awesome. Message me again, remember. All right, I feel like these maggots are making some headway now. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a follower. Well-deserved people who have been following me for a long time. I think somebody was talking about how we need to have some kind of blood or something from these maggots coming out. I think that really is true. I need we I think we do need to add that. Okay, let's experiment with some of the finished maggots. Is this grossing anybody out? Does it feel gross yet? Or does it just feel like, oh, it's just like toad skin. Hmm. Let's see. We need to, okay, we need to go back again with maybe this kind of flesh color. Let's use a little bit of, let's see, a little bit of orangey color, hmm. I'm gonna go with a little bit of this orcus dermis and see if I can't make that look a little more woolen or something. I mixed it with a little bit of my green so it won't be so obviously pink. And again, so they're married. around here a little bit more pink Ooh, that's better that's better did need it just needs that kind of reddish look better a little bit more pink 
Ne. I'm just gonna pick out some of the, this is one of those, it's one of those models where you can just kind of get lost in the model, picking and picking and picking, and sometimes less, sometimes less is more. Right? Ugh, that's it. All right, let me see your comments because I really want to get your opinion on this. The spines on the back look good. Good, definitely gross. Awesome. If Jacob doesn't want the Okay, if I'll ask him, 3-0, I'll tell him. <laughs> I would love to see 3-0s paint them, paint the Scottish Wharf. I think that would be great. Ooh, these are like big bumps. We need to, let's make that look more pimple-like. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, ooh, did you see what I just did? So I put the red, I put the red down, and then I put the yellow in the middle of it. Yeah, that's disgusting. Let's use a little bit of gloss medium. We can make that into a glaze. for the faint of heart. Now I'm putting the, the pink down. I feel like it could even be more red. Let's see what happens when I do the, let's do this red and see what happens. Now we put the pink on top. That's nasty. Oh, guys. Oh. <laughs> when you gross yourself out so much, you feel a little queasy. Gross. Look at that. I'm good at I'm good at painting zits, guys. Guess Maga Demon does not scream on my little pony paint scheme. No. <laughs> what am I using as a music source? Floppy tit uh, floppy tisk. I um I currently have um produced music that I commissioned a music music producer from. His name is Custom Anthems, and got my got rights to my own music and everything, so it's all mine. And that way, when this whole Article 13 thing comes out, I don't need to worry because my work will, my my music will all belong to me. All your bit belong to me. I think I'm succeeding more with the zits than I am with the maggots. I'm gonna have to work on those maggots. I don't I don't feel particularly good about them. Hmm. 
Anybody got any suggestions on what we could do? I mean, people were talking about blood. Let's try a little red around the maggot and see what happens. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything. I mean, it kind of works, but it doesn't make the maggot look more maggot-like. Here's the front, this is this side, this is this side. Just what every discerning maggot demon needs, glitter sprinkles. <laughs> Finds on the back, look, yeah, we already said that. Yeah, I do think the spines, that's the parts where I went over it with the lighter yellow, I think that came out pretty good. I think they look like, almost like little teeth. I like that. That's, that we can keep doing. You know, how come I can't get that on the maggots? Maybe I need to go back and make the maggots brown. That might be a thing. Good, okay, let's do this. Ooh, I like that a lot, the horns. Glossy for them would be good too. Wait. Oh yeah. Yeah, those are maggots. I think you're right. Glossy. But we need to get the right colors before we add the gloss, I think, maybe. Hmm. But no, I think you're right. They need to be they need to be glossy compared to the flat. Justice 718, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chat. Let's paint his teeth. Got some pretty raw teeth here. And he's got little Little bumps and spines. Get those out. I like that. Those more yellow. getting there he's he looks mad he definitely looks a little mad to be having all the maggots on his back for sure hmm. let me go back with the gloss medium and see what happens here yeah that's what it, you're right that's what it needed the gloss medium yellow and a little, little bit of the gloss medium here. That gives it that kind of translucent, grody, grody feel to it, I think.
There we go. There we go. This one I think I have it. I think. All right. It's going to drive the right way this time. That Those look like serious growth sits, don't they? yellow over here on these little spines over here. That looks good. Now go back with the yellow on my talons. So for this side, I feel like it is getting better, don't you guys think? Maybe we do need something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to crowdsource that. Unexpected! I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Had a, had how do I, had a recent problem with scale color blue paints as a skin tone, layering from the deep blue, looking very chalky. Yeah. So anytime you've got one of the um, scale color paints with um, it's got a little pastel in it, it's going to dry chalky. So the best thing I can tell you to do is get a little bit of um, medium, like, um, let's see, what do I have? You can use the P3 mixing medium, you can use airbrush medium, basically you need, that's metal medium, that's the wrong kind of medium. Um, you can even use a little gloss wrench, but basically you need something in it to slow the drying time. The reason why satin paints are so easily to blend is because they have satin medium in them, and that slows the drying time, so it makes them a little bit easier to blend, right? All right. So try that. Oh yeah, I've been working late hours. You don't like the way the geckos taste, though. No, you eat geckos. Larger lizards. Actually, they were larger lizards. I guess the geckos are safe. Oh my goodness. I have geckos. What about using Bondic to make them look like a boil? Yeah, I don't think he needs any boils. But if I had a, like a, maybe if I had like a place that needed an extra boil, like he's covered in boils. So all we gotta do, if we wanna make one look a little bigger, we could do that, but. Those suits look good. I do think we need a little bit more reddish tones. What do you think? I need to show Mike this. Hey, Mike. Come see this demon I'm painting. Come see this demon. I'm streaming, yes. I'm telling you to come see. Look at him. What? Okay, so does these look like maggots? Like stuff that's gross. He said it looks like stuff that's gross. Yeah. He doesn't want to look close. Do you think it needs more red to make it look more like swollen? <laughs> All right, I think, so here's the thing. I need an orangey color. A really good orangey color. Hmm. What am I gonna use? What am I gonna use? I thought that this peachy color was gonna, let me look for an orangey color, hold on. I think like one of the Vallejos is gonna work. Here's cadmium skin, it's really peachy. Hi Beefton, how are you? Look at this gross maggot guy we're painting. Isn't he nasty? We painted all this in, the, in just uh, the, the stream. We're actually getting close to finishing. And so we're gonna be raiding Rainer today. I just wanna see if I can get this to look. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's so gross. 
So gross. How are you beefed in? Good. He looks great. Awesome. Pony Spectre says. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try the peach again. The pe This is the, the really peachy color. And I'm going to try putting this around the edges again. Ooh. Yep, that looks good. I like that. Just needed the extra, right? Ooh, that's... Mm. This is... I see, I, I have like a love-hate with Creature Caster because you guys know I paint in a semi-realism style. And then we get this. We get this. This is what we get. Definitely can't have nice things. This is gross. That's okay. It's working. It did need, it needed the peach around the edges to take the focus away from the yellow. Now it feels like he's birthing it's gross no. things. Yes. Ah. <laughs> so I put a contact a content warning on my stream for people who have tryptophobia. And apparently it's the only phobia that gets spread just by its knowledge. People who find out about it find out they're afraid of it. It's one of those, it's one of the few phobias that do that. And all that desaturated green. A little bit of. This is because he's starting to look a little bit more humanistic with this peach. And that's where the horror comes in. Stop it! He's such a troll. Right. That feels better. Tell me what you guys think. So gross. Oh my god. Mike. Stop. Are you on mic? He's not on mic. He's sitting here trolling me, saying, look at her maggots. They are so gross. OK, we're getting to the point where the stream is ending. We need to make sure Rainer is live, though, before we raid him. And Rainer is pushing for partners. So if there's any way that you guys can stick around and give him some views and some love, it would mean the world to all of us at Triptych. All right, now I get need to look at what you guys have to say because that looks pretty good to me. The peach gives it a very um, obscene look. Oh, okay, I, that also works. I see what you're saying, like kind of like, yeah, I get it. Yep. It just looks gross. Look at the difference. This versus this. Not scary. Oh my god, get it away. How are you doing? Oh. <laughs> He's not live yet. You're right, exactly. He's not. Peach separates the maggots from the skin. It makes a huge difference. I think so too. And I need to push it even farther. Let me try this peach. Like I said. There, maybe with this peach it won't be so, like you said, obscene.
And this is like a really, really light skin tone color. From this one is called Admium Skin by Gain Color. It works, but let's put a little bit of this peach on top. There we go. That works even better. Hmm. I need to contact Bohun and ask him for advice on this one. Last time I worked on the uh, Lord of Virulence, he sent me a picture of a bed sore and it was just, it was absolutely disgusting. All right, there we go. All right, let's look and see if Rainer is, is ready to go. Don't think he's on yet. Where he was, is he still at that conference? He, okay. Well, you know, he, uh, he, I think, I think so. I think you're right. Hey, Rob Jedi, look, it's a cane toad with witchy grubs in it. Just kidding. <laughs> Pretty close though, huh? Ah! <laughs> All right, we're gonna find somebody to raid. Let's find a cool person. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do something interesting. I'm gonna go into the art section. See if we can find. Interesting, oh, it didn't work. There we go. Creative. I want to find somebody cool to raid. I think I see a painter. We've got next level paintings on if you guys want to see him. I haven't raided him in a while. Somebody is painting. Oh, okay. Let's, yeah, let's do. I think that would be good. I haven't raided him in a while. Great, great, gross subjects, exactly. All right, guys. So I will be on next, uh, um, this coming Monday from 2.30 to 5.30, EMT minus six. All right, here we go. All right, guys, you guys have a good one, okay? We're going to raid now. Bye-bye.